Hello, my precious little unicorns. It's time for another thrift score. Thrift score is thrift score, where you score the thrift scores. This edition of thrift score is not actually called thrift score. It's called the spooky black skirt score, because basically it's just nothing but black skirts. And you know, other things that I would wear as I'm brewing potions in my cauldron in the dungeon at Hogwarts with Snape. Let's get right to it. Black skirt number one. I actually have a self-imposed rule right now, which is no more black skirts, which I'm not doing very well at. It's just like my no more black dresses rule. If I see one that's unlike one I own, I have to own it. So this uh, black skirt number one, cute peasant skirt, whatever, but it has this cool little lacy cutout. Ooh, so fancy. And a little lace bottom. And it has a nice elastic waist, so I can wear it however I want. That was $3. You thought I was gonna bring out another black skirt, but no. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and show you the most perfect little boots that I got. I just, I can't even, like, give them a proper introduction. I just have to show them to you. These are perfect for romping through the dark forest or catching toads or talking to your familiar as you lounge about your cottage. I'm just, I'm so obsessed with them. I have another pair of witch boots that I got from Urban Outfitters on Black Friday a couple of years ago, but they're not as like everyday wearable as these. And these are just honestly some of the most adorable things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I love them. Now it's back to the black skirt show. It sounds like a very kind of sexist game show. This one's simple, but I like the way it flows. It has a lot of fabric. So it's like multi-tiered, very peasant skirty, very Stevie Nicks. That one was $4 and it's by Buffalo Billy's Wild West Artwear, which Buffalo Billy, it's got some sweet style. The third and final black skirt, at least of this thrift score is this one, which just looks like a normal black skirt, normal black skirt, but look at the bottom, it's so cute. It's got like little lace cutouts. It's so cute. And this one was uh, $3. Oh God. Yeah. My extension just fell out. <laughs> no one will ever see that. I love to layer and also look like a thrift store sofa. So uh, this garment accomplishes both things in one fell swoop. It's got an upholstery like fabric, textured crazy weirdness, but it's really cute. It has like sparkly detailing. This one was $3. And it's by, I don't even, I can't read it. How could I say no to a grandma couch vest for layering? This is by far one of my best thrift scores of all time. And I do not say that lightly. I was at the thrift store with my really good friend Cleo and she was like Molly and she held this up. Even before I found out what the brand was, I ran to it and scooped it into my arms lovingly. So it's this like kimono vest thing. Beautiful, amazing, perfect for layering. Everything I love. I love to wear 500 layers that hit the ground and make me look like otherworldly and terrifying as I sweep down the streets of Los Angeles and scare children and pet puppies. But uh, I turned it over in my hands and the brand was free people, which is like one of my all time favorite brands, but I can't afford their stuff new because it's it's on the high end and uh, so everything I own free people and I do actually own a lot of free people stuff but I've gotten all of it at thrift stores all of it so when people uh, ask me to describe my style I either say Harajuku witch or wearable Ren Faire so I'm attracted to anything that makes me look like I'm going to a Ren fair at any point in my life and that's why I really like this vest so this is the back of it and then in the front it has little eyelet clasps so it just clasps up it's so cute I love it it's a really cool like suede fabric but it's shimmery so I can wear that when I'm running through the forest after unicorns I'm a total sucker for crop tops with long sleeves and this is vintage and it's this like really cute sheer fabric it has big flowing sleeves which is my absolute kryptonite and this was three dollars so how can you go wrong there? Ultimate witch dress. I also have an obsession with black velvet or velvet in general, but who doesn't? But uh, this dress is absolutely amazing. So I'll probably, you know, wear this when I'm lounging around the fire with Snape, talking about what potions we worked on that day. It'll be really good. My boyfriend's giving me a look right now. I'll be down to the dungeons in a minute, baby. 
And finally, vintage negligees. I love things that have touched old lady butt. Yeah, they are great for layering and layering and maybe not layering or just wearing and being a vintage whore. Uh, this lovely, lovely negligee is, is pink and black, but pastel pink with this great lace detailing. I love it. I love it. And it was, it was $3 or $3.95. Worth it. So there's that edition of Thrift Score. I love doing these videos because they make me feel like I am okay when I go to thrift stores and buy clothes that I don't need. In the comments below, I want you to tell me the one thing that you just can't stop buying. Like one article of clothing that you have a million of, such as black skirts. Tell me what that is for you. Tell me your black skirt. I will continue making these videos, so you better like and subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, you're going to miss me, and I know we don't want that. And most importantly, I will miss you. I, I want you to come into my weird little world and share it with me. Please, please just validate me. Like, subscribe, validate me. More thrift scores in the future. I love you guys. Bye, guys.